playing f how I play Fallout now. I'm very like, yeah. hey. You're doing quests, you're trading with, with NPCs. Yeah, yeah, just trade, and then it's just like, oh, you shot they're, first? They're, uh, Pre prepared. You're very much playing the um uh the fall the Skyrim or Fallout way, which is you walk into a clearing and you see the oppressive cat warrior and the revolt that's trying to stand up to the warriors, and you go, I'm gonna do a quest for the cat. And then I'm gonna do a quest for the mouse. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not picking a side here. Yeah, and then I just say peace, and then just Homer disappear into the woods. <laughs> it's like, every while I have a cat, are trying to reassure the public, look, we're not here to suppress you. We're fine. It's the rats that were that are the bigger problem here. I just want to say, I have not caused. I, I have not intentionally caused any outrage. I had noticed that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because I know the wood, I know what the woodland do, and I know that I don't want to trust. I don't want to give you anything. I. What? I'm not gonna do anything. I, yeah, sure. I would like. I would like to point out to the uh, woodland folks that I was intentionally walked, walked peacefully through, and gave cards to uh, to help the woodland. I was <laughs> looking at this and going, next turn I could revolt here and destroy that mob token and six warriors. But I don't want to do that tonight because he has been being nice. And then I was like, I could revolt here, <laughs> but be, and it would only destroy one cat. It would be fine. It would give me another base. That'd be great and all. But then the vagabond moved in, and I don't want to piss him off. And if I revolt in a clearing that has the vagabond, it damages three of his items. So, Ooh, geez, yeah. <laughs> don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, sad day. After you know, like, after I've been paying your fake tax. That's why I'm not doing it. You liberal. <laughs> it feels like you can really only revolt in uh, places that you don't want to. That's yeah, kind of upsetting. This, this current time, yeah. Don't worry. I won't be there long. I was just here <laughs> to help the buns. And now... Yeah, I, I, think, I think a lot of the way I've been playing, too, has really just been... Playing this uh, def uh, defensive game against the uh, rats. Yeah. Not really playing for my own points, but just trying to stop the tide of rats. And I'm trying, but like the this group is not made for fighting, so like, yeah, there's not a whole lot I can do. No. I mean, I, again, I, I just want my six properties, and then we can leave. You just give me boardwalk, and then we'll you, be fine. You, you don't need six properties. You've got plenty. You have more than enough. You have one, two, three, four, Can five, six, I have seven. a property? I Hello, they don't good do me sirs. any good. <laughs> I've cleared but out the ruins, <laughs> and I would like to have a property. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, so then if you're not gaining anything oh, from it? holding them, all I'm asking you is for the deed by the end of a sword point. No, 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 no. You don't need the deed. All is I'm doing is holding them for my... Uh, yes, it's your turn. I'm okay. holding them for my faithful uh, compatriots. Uh, and keeping them safe from rats. My dear sirs, my dear sirs, I cleared out the ruins for everybody, and all I would like is a humble home, possibly in every town, tax free, <laughs> just like in Skyrim. <laughs> sure, sure, yeah, you can have a. You can have I a haven't caused problem with anybody, but those rats, I'm pretty sure, would punch me to break my stuff because I hold it. Is this no, no, racist? No, no, no. Probably, but I'm okay just, with it. <laughs> just join us in our stronghold. We'll treat you to a lovely, lovely room. <laughs> Let's just say, I'll have the option to play a card where technically... Actually, no, there's a tied for last. <laughs> Who would I join? <laughs> you get to pick which one you would. Oh, have. man. <laughs> do That's I kind of do I gain your abilities? Like, can I can, can I no, get no, the no. tax? Uh, so it doesn't. It doesn't actually make you ally. It doesn't make you play any differently. And even if you're hostile with me and you form the coalition, you're still hostile with me. But the coalition just means you no longer gain victory points. But if that person you coalition with wins, you also win. Ooh, Ooh that is a that's a hedging your bets type thing. Pretty yeah. much every time I play Vagabond, I do that because I think it's fun as hell. And I'll just yeah. be like, oh, who did I become allies with? Uh, the, uh, It depends on who, who I pick, who I become allies with as to who I play. In this situation, if I became allies with the rats, I would just start clearing cats off the board to give them more tiles to own. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the allies are self the cats. Still um, the rats. <laughs> and I it is really fu funny that it's a cat rat war. <laughs> right? It's the rats and them. Mm. If there was bunnies, like it could be rats. watershed down. I really don't like <laughs> these mob tokens. They're making this very difficult. 
because I have to <laughs> yeah. decide where to spread my plague to, but if I spread it to a mob token, it just goes away immediately. Yeah, and if you spread it to one that you do gain advantage of, uh, I, if it's close to the mob token, then I could have a mob token there next round. Yeah. So it's like, it, it creates an interesting thing. Like, I didn't understand them at first, but now that I got kind of an understanding, they're really annoying. They're probably more annoying than just having more soldiers on the board. Yeah, th that's going... why I keep querying them. <laughs> ah. All right, I'm going to discard these two mice. Nice. Mice cards to, uh, wait, hang on. That's not what I wanted to do. Give me that back. I'm going to discard this bunny card mm -hmm. and this bird card to- How did that get the there? Token <laughs> here. And then I am going to discard these two mice cards to put a sympathy token here. We're everywhere. Um, and that gets me four victory points. And then I am going to. Um, ah, shit. Uh, well, don't do you know that. Do? I'm just going to take all four <laughs> of the cards in my hand and put them into my and mobilize them into sympathy or into supporters. And then, uh, evening time, I'm going to. Um, Relapse. We're going to recruit a new dude, and then action two, we're going to move him to here, and then action three, we're going to uh, organize him to put down another sympathy token, and because that's my seventh sympathy token, I gained three victory points for placing it. Three. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, then I draw two cards, and then my turn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, and now at the start of your turn, this and this both go away, and you trigger Outrage twice. Okay. <laughs> so, two mouse cards. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I only have one card, so. Let's see. Eh, eh. All right, so that oh. goes in here, and then I get to draw a card off the deck to put into there. Yep. You get to spin your whatever. It's a mouse. Spread the mouse. Oh, oh boy. We're going to get screwed. <laughs> it, it, it's like both are <laughs> both are bad. Oh, well, both you're going to eliminate regardless. This is so. the only mouse you can spread to. No, I, I can spread to this That's one. a bunny. I can spread to this. That's a bunny. That's Sorry. <laughs> It's annoying hard. because it may it's using an action on my from my turn to deal with oh, it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> you sent so, a mob uh, what's been it's... slowing my ability to deal with the spread too. <laughs> you sent a mob to the mouse? Oh, oh boy. Someone <laughs> found out that Disney Plus doesn't <laughs> Found that clause. Oh. I like this mouse card right here. Just look at him. <laughs> it's how I look in every Fallout game. <laughs> Do I need to rule the area to place a thing? It doesn't say that, so just place the thing at every stronghold. Could I have a stronghold down here? Doesn't state that I have to be in ruling. So. Uh, not... So lavish is going away. Hmm. And I just remembered I have D&D &D tomorrow, which uh, my new character, I finally get to have a voice. And I finished uh, reading a book called Lonesome Dove. And it's uh, like these Texas Rangers that became uh, cow herders just taking a cow like um, all the way up from Texas to Montana. And there's just this character that in the audiobooks just like, now when I say here, son, I'm just like, I think I want that to be my character voice because he's just an old man that <laughs> travels. He's a Fey Wanderer Ranger, and I'm just like, I think it'd just be fun if you like, now listen here, young folk. <laughs> 
I'm gonna be kicked out of the table. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think so. It's okay. They didn't kick me out when I murdered a child, so they won't kick me out with her annoying voice. Well, you never know. Some people have different, you know, limits. We'll see. Child murder? Fine. Yeah, oh, no, that it, voice, though. It wasn't fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, never is, is it? Uh, so I'm going up here to battle with my warlord. Why you gotta do that? Why you gotta be this way? Why you gotta be so rude? Everybody's name is that. Jude. I, sorry. <laughs> gotta expand, man. I'm sorry. Expand. You, you don't gotta. I mean, you could be uh, not just trying to dominate the board. Well, then I'm gonna be last place, and who wants that? Expand. <laughs> I puts rolling. Oh. oh! I do four total damage because I'm also wrathful. <laughs> oh! Yo! Oh, damn, you rolled a 3 0? That's some bullshit. Yeah, that's. I agree! <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. Stay back for the double ambush. Oh, jeez. Oh, dang it, they found a way through my auto mod with their weird typing of cheap viewers. Uh, <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> Um, uh, okay, uh... Damn, that was, that was a lot. And, and yeah, sight. yeah. Can't, getting the oppress, so I'm here now. Uh, and then I draw one card. Right, mm -hmm. this whole time Anime Hero's been over here, I'm not gonna win, there's no way I'm gonna win. No, I still don't oh, think I'm gonna win. win. He's already at the six, well, uh, well he's back up to five. Yeah, huh. I mean, he's gonna, like, just rocket ahead now. I, I I can't do anything about it either. I mean, so you could definitely stop me. I'm not. I'm not. Just <laughs> you say that, but you got so much on the board, and you just stripped my he, he, biggest defense whoa. spot. With with salty on your side, I'm never gonna be able to do, build any strongholds though. How many victory points did you just gain? Uh, I went from uh, from nine like to nine. Five. Yeah, so two, two three, four, four, for six. I want to. Oh no, I don't own one. Yeah, so you're right. I'm this gonna make a coalition with yeah, myself. Yeah, but you also you also you destroyed a building. building. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, so yeah, yeah. No, okay. Yeah, I, I thought I did the math right, and then I was like, wait. <laughs> you did the math right, but for the wrong reason. Yeah, I was like confused. Okay. It wasn't four. It was three plus one. Yeah. Can I make a coalition with myself. <laughs> <laughs> Bet on yourself always, or whatever. <laughs> Right now, if you were to coalition, it would be with the cats. Oh. <laughs> I'm allergic. <laughs> <laughs> Is your turn done, Anima? Here. Yeah, my turn's done. Okay. I can't do anything more. Yep. All right, let me uh, just... All right, and with that, I'll be like, we're good folk of whatever this town is. Goodbye. Hello, I'm back, <laughs> and I'm tax free. <laughs> yeah, tax free this time because we actually know the rules. <laughs> All right, and so what I would like to do, uh huh, is play this card. So I would act craft it, and so I would activate one of my Ooh. hammers. Right. Brilliant. Wait, hang on. It's a uh, it's a bunny craft, not a fox craft. Oh, okay. I got confused by the thingy. But you could move yeah. over to this clearing instead of this one, and then you could do it. Uh, that's... yeah, that's... Right. Yeah, because T is definitely worth it. You want that. Yeah, my... Mm. Yeah, so I'm going to do that. Uh, and then... And then you yeah. take the last pick on. Yeah. Zoop. Sippies! You got sippies! <laughs> that is weird that that is a fox craft, but a mouse. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of cards that are... are there's a lot of cards... They don't match their suit like that. Yeah. Um, uh, I know why I originally wanted to move there so I could potentially do a quest, but hey, it's all good. Doesn't matter. Getting tea is probably oh. better for the long run. Um, and let's see, let's see. Can't do a quest. And can't. Well, you could. What? Uh, let's see. You could move to uh, use a move. Oh yeah, uh, I guess I go could move back over there. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Oop. Activate the move, John. Um, let's see. Now, what I would like to do here
is pro propose a trade. Oh, wait, hold on. I got points off of that. I got two points. Mm -hmm. I'll have to propose a trade with uh, one known as uh, the cats here. Oh, shit. Mainly because I want your item. <laughs> <laughs> and, I <don't, laughs> and I and I want points. <laughs> I don't have enough cards. Bird hammer, damn. Ain't nothing wrong with a third hammer. I mean, you just you take that anyway. Yeah. Right, so I did that. Where'd it go? I stuck it. Yeah. It's up here. Oh, <laughs> I heard it. I heard it get dropped, but then I didn't. Okay, let me just. Uh, one, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, cool. You throw two slots. Yeah. Uh, right. And I have ten slots, yeah. It sucks that you haven't got any coins yet. Yeah. But, uh, you know, um, what I will do is, uh, use my, I'm going to use the T here and damage the sword to do some fundraising. And then it's the first one, so you either get one victory point or draw two cards. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take two cards. I'm guessing we reshuffle the discard pile and Oh yeah yeah. After we run out. Yeah. Um and yeah, I'll just let's see. Do anything else, yonder. So with that, uh, no, I'm gonna leave that damaged. Uh, do I? Nah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because I guess since this uh, is now been used, or is it since I had the T? Do I need to refresh this to, to bring back more items? Or um, if it's just in the slot, I'm good. <clears throat> I think it has to be refreshed to count. Okay, yeah. Which kind of sucks. But, that yeah. really sucks, yeah. Dang. I mean, honestly, I don't usually do quests, so I don't usually end up with uh, expended tea or coins or anything like that. Mm-hmm. So, uh, it's one of those situations where, like, if you were to do the give a speech, it would probably be better to damage a sword and then yeah. just repair it next turn than to expend your tea. Yeah, well, depending on, like, I could theoretically, I guess, do both. Um, but any poops, um, Uh, let's... Oh, right, I forgot it took a torch for, like, almost, almost every quest. Uh, some of them. It depends what the quest is. Like, all three of these take torches. Yeah. I hear little jingle jingles. Uh, I, hear I hear that, too. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. Playing Clash of Clans? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's um, I'm trying to decide if I want to... You know what? Let's just do it. I'm gonna. That way it's there, just in case. So. Alright. And uh, with that, alright, I pull a card for my evening. Yeah. And that brings you up to five. Nice, yeah. Nice and and that's, yeah, that's all I got. Alright, now it's kitty turn. Alright. Make some more wood. All right, we're going to craft a crossbow. Nice. It is betrayal. He has this crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> ah, another one of those attempts. At least the uh, auto modded uh, worked on that one for mine. Mm. I swear I've seen some of these names earlier today. Jeez, this must be a string of new ones. 
I haven't seen any duplicates so far, but... Um, okay, so there's the wood, there's my crafting. That's all I can do crafting-wise, I think. Oh. All right. Well, I have to battle here to clear this mob, so... Oh, my mob. Get out of there, mob. Uh, that gives me another victory point, right? If I remember right. Yeah. Um, Not much I can I do I wish about I that. could do something here without compromising the rest of what I need, want to do. Um, but I can't really... So... We're going to build a sawmill here. <laughs> oh my goodness, sorry. I'm I'm just laughing at one of my cards. Yeah. I I think someone would be very happy um, with one of these cards. Good. Now here's a question. If uh, if I was gonna do aid, like if I had just for example, if I had like two fox cards and then one mouse card, and uh, if I went to like went to did two with salty and then like went over here to give the last one to salty, would that count as three aids in one yeah, turn? Yeah, it's all in one turn. Yep. Okay. Uh oh. Why do you what what do you what are you trying to do over there? Who are you asking? <laughs> oh. See, 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 see I, I, this is why I say I won't win, because every time I go like, I might win, I look at pain, and then I go, but I have no idea what's going on in that head. <laughs> <laughs> so, he could destroy me, he could immediately win the game, he could do something that completely throws everything out of plan, so it's like... Hey. I do never trust I have a have a strategy that wins. <laughs> I'm I'm just building passive income. <laughs> All right. Uh huh. One card. Uh huh. Well, that's an interesting one. Uh, kind of weird. Let's see. Hmm. I'm just saying, like if. Someone could have a, a very fun card by the end of my turn. It just depends. Uh, well, except for you, anime. You you can't give no. me anything. So it's okay. <laughs> let's just say there's options that I have in my hands. I have no quarrel with you, so it's okay. You don't need to give me anything. All right. It's also good that I have no clue how like cards work for anybody else. For me, I'm like, <laughs> oh sweet, I just got to use hammers. Makes sense to me. Yeah. So can, that that is you, my turn. For you, cards are for trading. Yeah. Hmm. Um. For uh, for anime hero, his he doesn't really get many cards, and he really doesn't use them for much. He can craft them, but yeah, uh, it's only for used me, for extras. For me, cards are almost entirely used for mobilizing more support or for training more officers. And for uh, knight, his he's basically supposed to be building. Like he can discard them for field hospitals, and he can discard uh, birds to get more actions. But mostly, he's he's a, a crafting person, except that he hasn't really built that many uh, workshops. So yeah, because you know, <laughs> no, I get it. There, there's a giant flood yep. of red. There is a very good reason, knight. That when I had the option to revolt in one of these two fox clearings, I chose the one that had the four warriors in it over the one that had the three building spots in it because cats oh I, usually I appreciate fight that death over the three building spots. Like if you're in that I, tile, they will murder your face. <laughs> yeah, and like I completely get the the <laughs> option to why you took that spot. I don't have an issue with that. Yeah. I, I really it no, was I'm it was saying, annoying at the time because you know I tried yeah, to is, fight, is but huge for cat. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to defend, and <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I don't have enough action economy. So, Payne, if you have birds, it would be really helpful. I don't have birds. I need more actions. <laughs> I need more actions is what I need. I think I gave all my birds away already. <laughs> Some of them were in the fake taxes that I was told. Hey, Derek, uh, yeah, pretty much... Uh, 
uh, the life caught up with Ecorb, and so she wasn't able to make her for betrayal. So uh, we decided to fight yeah. with uh, the fun Steam issues right now to play They're some root. Right. Now I will say, Vagabond is very much my play style in most games, where it's just like, <laughs> hey, you guys do whatever you want, like. If anyone wants to know how I play, like if I'm a player in a TTRPG, it is very much the Vagabond, where I'm just like, I'm just gonna do whatever I want. I know the party wants to do something, but I'm just here, you know? I'll help out. <laughs> but if I have a chance to just TPK the party by opening up a box, I'm gonna open up a box, you know? <laughs> I mean, I still say I was about to open the same box. <laughs> yep, I know. You were just slow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take you a real quick BRB. I'll be back in a minute. All right, is it turnover? I'm gonna say so. Yeah, it's your turn. It's your turn. That's why I'm taking my bio break. Okay, I'm just making sure. I'll be back in a minute. How okay. you doing, Dirt? How's your day? So in two weeks, two weeks we'll be doing uh, betrayal, I believe. Oh, I could, I could do something really exhausting right now. Do it. It'd be hilarious. Unless it's towards me, then don't. I could do something drastically mean. Hang on, let me let me take look at the look this over real quick. Oh okay. my god! What? Oh my god! Oh my god! So, <laughs> do I want to really piss Knight off? <laughs> that, that's the fun part like you could he shouldn't have gone and pissed i know he probably has wireless headphones but hey well, the thing is, he probably I, I don't want to really like knight is the one holding anime hero back right now and i don't want to ruin that I, I have yeah. a really good opportunity to absolutely ruin Knight's day right now. <laughs> That's the thing is right now. I have no intention of attacking you. I have no intention of attacking Paint. I'm merely trying to get spaces. Let's, you know that. Let's be I fair. If you get the spaces, then you're gonna win. <laughs> Anime. Let's be fair. Technically, you don't even know I exist. Like we <laughs> actually, have, you have never, we have never met in this field. Like I don't even know you're here. Like I maybe hear like some rumors, but I'm just like. <laughs> Tiptoe through the window. <laughs> Actually, no. I heard it on the uh, sympathy train when I kill, uh, killed oh, one yeah, of the you, sympathy You people. probably heard of me. <laughs> like, yeah, they said, like, where's the Vagabond when we need him now? As my rats kill the guy, it's like, so what was that about a Vagabond? <laughs> well, the Vagabond hasn't heard about you because it's not like you've caused outrage that spread. It's like someone went, I'm going to set up a box here and then immediately died. And so they didn't have a chance to spread that outrage. <laughs> yeah, it's like... <laughs> Welcome to so, my store. Would you like a glass of sugar? Boom. Oh. So when you oh, when let me you guess, it's the, this mouse. Yeah. When you what? No. When you play the digital game that has like like that's the actual game on Steam. Mm -hmm. Um, all of Alliance's warriors are like little foxes that run around. Oh, that's it, cool. And your, your sympathy tokens are a tiny little soapbox with the tiniest little mouse standing on it with a megaphone. Oh, dang! <laughs> I'm gonna get this game now. Jeez. <laughs> Just for that. Um, the problem is, if you buy it, it only has the ba the four base clans, and then each expansion is oh, an expansion. Oh, I see that. Yeah. An expansion for the next two, and then expansion for the next two, and the expansion that has the keepers of iron and the uh, Lord of the Hundreds isn't on it yet. Eh, they, I, they've I, been I mean... consistently keeping it one expansion behind. So when the board game gets a new expansion, then the computer game will get the keepers of iron and the Lord of the Hundreds. Um. I, I was just so looking at the trailer. I don't think I'm going to do it because I don't think it would benefit me enough to be worth it. But I have this card in my hand, which if I were to spread sympathy tokens to here, which I could do, then I would have sympathy tokens in three fox clearings. And the card I have in my hand is favor of the foxes, craft using three foxes, remove all enemy pieces from all fox clearings, which would include the keep. Oh, oh, that would be oh brutal. Wow. <laughs> God. Jeez. That man. would that would remove this workshop. It would damage the Vagabond for three. It would remove all of these units and buildings, and it would remove all of these units and buildings and the keep. <laughs> yeah, no, it would literally just screw overnight, because like, it's like, killing, yeah. taking three of my units off, I get that <laughs> next round. 
<laughs> right. That's why I was looking at it going, hey, that's cool. I could, yeah, that's not going to benefit me. It would just fuck Night up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, if you want to basically kill my ability to fight anything, go right. for it. Yeah, I mean, it, not... here's the thing. It guarantees that you get third. It's a, it's a funny <laughs> play. It's a hilarious play. But it's not a play that would benefit anybody but <laughs> anime hero. True, actually fair. <laughs> I would not recommend on it, honestly, because you're just screwing <laughs> over night so hard that it's like <laughs> might win turns into I will win, yeah. Yeah. It will be I mean I I'm trying to keep the, the horde back as best I can, but I if you want you to are. take over, go for it. <laughs> That's not the intention. Yeah. Alright, I am going to start my turn off by uh, discarding two bird cards from my supporters to revolt in this clearing. Sorry for that one cat warrior. I'm fine with that. I, I've kind of been leaving that because I figured you had well, I want plans to there anyway. Base up, and I figure having my bases next to each other makes them easier to defend. True. Uh, which puts two warriors there because I have sympathy and two bunny clearings. <clears throat> and it makes an officer, which now means I, I have no more meeples because I have four officers and six warriors. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sounds about right. And then I'm going to spend oof, uh, Yeah, that will work. Hang on, I'm trying to do some calculations here. Damn, man, this sucks. <laughs> I, I want to do something, but if I do it that way, it doesn't work out well for me. Alright, so I'm going to spend a fox and a bird out of my supporters to... Um, wait, hang on. I can't do that. I literally can't do that. Alright, never mind. Because these are the two fox clearings I don't have sympathy in, and I'm not connected to either of them. Oh, dang. Um, that is okay. I can deal with that. I am going to spend uh, two mice cards... Um, to place a sympathy token in a mouse clearing. This one will do. And then I am going to... Oh, that's the end of Birdsong. <clears throat> Daylight, I'm going to move this card. Yeah, this Favor of the Foxes card here. Ooh. Oh, I'm going to move that into my sympathy. <laughs> Yo. Um, and then I am going to end, end that and go to evening. And for my four military actions for evening, I am going to first move two units to here. Mm -hmm. Then move one unit to here. Mm -hmm. And then use the other two actions to organize both of them. Okay. Which will put... A sympathy token here, and a sympathy token here, and I, sp I placed three sympathy tokens this turn. That is nine victory points. Ooh. Two, yep. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine victory points. I'm not going to win this. <laughs> okay, so I will explain that to you. Actually, I can explain it to you right now. I didn't want to explain it at the time because I figured it was going to fuck me over. But typically, if you're playing Alliance in a game that has Cat in it, it's pretty easy to win if the Cat hates you enough. Because as long as they keep killing your Sympathy Tokens, you can keep placing more down. And you only get victory points for placing Sympathy Tokens. But when I realized that placing a Sympathy Token in the same tile as a Mob Token just meant I immediately <laughs> got it back. Yeah. That was my path to victory. <laughs> it's Yeah, it's kind of broken. Um... There's not much I can do. So then I'm going to end my turn, draw, oh, that card, and <laughs> hang on a sec, shuffle those, draw two more cards, and then it's your turn, and that triggers this and this. Okay, I'll 
don't have any matching cards, so I show you my hand, and you get to draw one card or two cards, actually. Two cards, yeah. All right, so yeah, I get to look so... at your card. Okay, oh, yeah. Okay. Where'd it go? In your hand. It's the. It's the. Check oh. That one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. There you go. Sorry. Yeah. That's fine. And then I'll take two cards and put them both in my sympathy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of figured this was gonna happen like this. <laughs> no, once I fig- once I pla- I placed that one there, and then I passed it to your turn and went, "Oh shit! The mob token's gonna immediately destroy it. That's terrible." Wait, no, that's gonna cause outrage, and I can place it again next turn. Oh, this is how I'm gonna win the game now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and there's really not much. Okay, well first let's go with the. Uh... Spin a bunny. Well, I guess bunny. I only got two. I got two different bunny spaces. Oh, so I guess I'll put it here. Um. Yeah. No. If I was playing a more aggressive clan, I'd be trying to push in and destroy the mob tokens and try to like work with it. But like, these yeah. guys can't do that. They just, I just don't <laughs> have enough. Combat. Yeah. Uh, so I definitely let this get far, way too out of hand to be able to fight yeah. it at this point. Yep. What I'm seeing is that uh, D Pain should have formed a coalition with me back when I was tied for last. <laughs> <laughs> so, how do you get these dominance cards again? You just draw one. A discarded one, you just uh, discard a card that matches its suit and then take it. Okay. I mean, I'm not um, saying I need it, but three of them are if you own three clearings with the of that type, you win. And the last one is if you own two clearings on opposite corners of the board, you win. Or and one of them, this one here. Mm. But it's at your bird song, so basically you would have to make the move that gains that clearing and then have it go a whole rotation around the board yeah. without anybody stopping it. Well, Guess I'm moving forward. Oh shit! We're being invaded. That's outrage. Yeah, it's outrage. Fox card that you showed me that I know is in your hand. Yep, there you go. <laughs> it doesn't benefit me to have it anyway. At this point. <laughs> um. Oh, this roll. Okay. Oh, too bad. I... Wait, hold on. Oh, I can't play that for. Oh, it. two and two. Um. Well. That was uh, faster than I expected, but... Oh, okay. Um, all right, two and two. That means I lose the two warriors. Yeah. Well, I lose and two as lose well. Two of yours. It's just too bad I can't play a card on your behalf on that one, Salty. Right? Yeah. <laughs> uh... And... Man, this sucks. Honestly, you got lucky there. I was going to say yeah. I got lucky because you could have destroyed my tower, but because I take the higher die to do that, you would have had to roll two threes. Yeah. Um, it was, it was just literally I'm just trying to get into your zone at this rate because... Yeah, I know. Uh, Knight has a ambush. I don't know what point attacking him. Um... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Said players, yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah to be clear, <laughs> that zone is not owned by anybody. No. Because buildings not. count, so that's one and one. Yeah, exactly. I know it's it's just basically useless. I could. Uh, the issue is I can't advance my warlord really anywhere. Good. Um, unless I want to make a very big <laughs> scuffle down here, that would benefit me for no reason for nothing really mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. why not so combat night Ah. So I take one damage because I'm stubborn. 
as oh, usual. Fun. What what was your points on night? You're you on sixteen? Your token moved. It was like right here. Yeah, when you threw the card it moved the token. I I don't think know if it, it was, I think that's right. I think it was third. Right. Yeah, I think it was there. Uh, yeah, it looked like it looked like it was correct. So Yeah. Combat. Oh, that is that is very uh, cocked. Well, weird. It it's hard to tell but because of its tabletop. It says player, one. It says one. So he would get one, I would get three. Yeah. And uh, I already took damage, so let's start with the count. Um, so then I claim this land for me. I was sitting here peacefully, not messing with your guys. You have to yeah. go running up a scuffle. Yeah, uh, you allied yourself with the wrong people. This clearing that had like four <laughs> cats and a sawmill on one side just chilling, and then it had like a warlord and a stronghold <laughs> on the other side of the river. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six that I own. Yep, so that's four points. Right. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna win, but I'm gonna keep pushing forward to see if I can do anything. And then draw one card which Salty will take later. Now, I know that um, one of the tactics for winning quickly, if you're playing against cats, is to wait, is to cut off their supply routes until they start amassing wood that they can't use because their supply routes are cut off, and then just go burn down all the wood because every token you break gives you one victory point. Yeah. <clears throat> I was I was kind of planning on moving into them, but then the acceleration of uh, the mob. Yeah. Thing kind of like said like well I'm not going to be able to really do what I wanted anymore well that's what the warlord's for is to move without the mob and yeah. then place more mobs but you didn't have the cards for that no I didn't because I was drained too quickly so it is your turn pain by the way yes I'm just thinking here I have a question so yeah. if I attack somebody as whether it's going in and using a sword or a card, does that immediately make them go hostile? Mm, let's see. Uh, does that aid a faction? Oh, that's was exhaust an extra boost. Any, if you kill, I, I think if you kill oh, any if unit you from... kill a meeple, yeah, killing a building or a token doesn't do anything, but killing a meeple causes host immediate hostility. Okay. It's a shame you don't have a crossbow. Crossbow mm -hmm. is probably the most useful item for the vagab for a war warring vagabond because it's just a expend it to kill one meeple on the tile you're on. Oh, that's nice. So, like when I play the the rogue vagabond, the one that's like super attacky, I uh, I'll have like three swords and two crossbows, and I'll just walk in and be like, those two are dead, and now I start combat with whoever's left. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I do have a crossbow available for you. <laughs> and I'm trying to th thinking right here, making sure. <laughs> Buy the crossbow from the cat, immediately kill the cat with the crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Way to suggest terrible this. I'm here trying to help the vagabond. <laughs> You're like, oh, does this work? <laughs> Dead. It's my territory now. You can't own any territory, sir. I don't care. No. I think that... Yeah, no, my, my ranger vagabond would have already destroyed the keep and would currently be mar marauding around trying to destroy all these strongholds. I like okay. like I like how I like how Payne's playing it. I very rarely see people play Vagabond that way, but when I play Vagabond, it's like on site. It's like I'll pick one person that I'm like, you're cool, but everybody else on fucking site. <laughs> <laughs> well, I need someone to trade with. The funny thing is, you can aid a hostile group because you have to be able to get items. Yeah. So like even if you're in the middle of killing cats, if they're like, I created a tea, you're like, here, have a card, give me the tea, now die. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm I'm just uh I'm just trying to make sure like 
I have a card that would allow me to attack Meeples directly if I am able to pay it. And I'm just wondering, like, as soon as I do that, would that activate them into hostile and then I would get points for it? Let me see the card. Where'd it go? Uh, here it is. I don't care if everyone sees it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, it doesn't uh, matter to me. No, that's not you doing it. Okay. Well, in that case, let's... <laughs> Guys, I finally got my six territories. I feel so strong. Oh, I'm not going to be happy about this. Please. Please. <laughs> the thing is, I'm totally fine with people clearing everything I have on the board, because as long as the strongholds stand, I still get more. Oh right. my god, Payne, this is going to be really hilarious. <laughs> I oh. kind of hate you. Do it, Payne. Do it. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to use my slide to come over here. Be like, uh, uh -huh. hey buddy, would you like this... This card for your crossbow? I would love that card for it. Uh, Pain. What? Just, you know, that card you showed me? Yeah. Does require you to be standing in a bunny clearing to craft it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shoot. I moved the wrong. Can't. Wait. What did I turn over? Oh, wait. But, like, that card I showed, would that do the hostile or, or no, not? No, I shouldn't. I, I would say no. I mean, it might, but I would say no. And uh, I'm not going to look. I'm not going to go out of the way to look up the rules for it because it, it, yeah, it, it, it wouldn't really make sense my calculations was that it was <laughs> but uh, uh but anyway it'd be funny so all right and with it is a really funny way to thing to do so oh. i'm going to expend this to move down here hello my friends hey guys how's it going want to see something cool yeah it's called tactical nuke I'm gonna play yeah. Favor of the Bunnies, and I wanna make it- All pieces in rabbit clearings, then discard. Wait, all rabbit clearings? Yes, all rabbit clearings are now completely cleared. Okay. So, one, you kill these guys. So he gains a point for- hang on. Oh yeah. Uh, one mob, one stronghold, the two mobs, two strongholds, and two, two sympathy tokens, and a base. So that's four, five, so seven victory points. That you gain from destroying One, tokens two, and building. Three, Jesus. four, five, six, seven. But you do trigger outrage twice for destroying two sympathy tokens. Uh um, what do I gotta give what kind of cards do I gotta give you for that? Rabbit. Rabbit or rabbit. bunny. Or rabbit or bird, I mean. Um I only have one rabbit. You know what? I'm okay with this. <laughs> also, um, that means that, uh, so here's the thing. So I lose both of these warriors also. Come here, fucker. Thank you. No, not um, the warriors. Also, there's a downside to playing. The reason I was like, I need to defend my bases, that's why I'm putting them next to each other, is because with Woodland Alliance, when you lose a base, you lose all supporters that match that base type, Ooh. and you lose half of your officers. Yep. So Ouch. that brought me down from four officers to two, and I lose yeah. both of these supporters. That, yeah. That, that is a really good play later, for Derek. pain. All right. If he wants to catch up. And then... Oh, shit. Sorry. Uh, you lose all your supporters matching that, including bird supporters. So I lose those three supporters, too. Oh, God. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I lost two officers and five supporters from that. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Hang on. I'm taking one of those back because it was the one of the taxes he gave me. Oh. Okay. Uh, for the outra outrage. Anyway. There you go. All right. And so I got the correct amount of points and all that jazz? Yep. Actually. Right. Looks about right. That one, too. Because he gave me a bunny. And, and Isn't this supposed to be gone, too? Because this is bunny. Oh, oh yeah, that is funny. Oh yeah, yeah, no, you need more points too. too. No, I counted those. I you didn't, counted those? I didn't okay. remove them, but I counted them. I okay, good. Those seven points that you gained. Good, 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 good. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's set four, four that. hearings on the board that are now completely unowned. <laughs> All right, and then um, what I am going to do now is I'm gonna fight a bear. <laughs> <laughs> he feels confident in himself. 
he walks up here nonchalantly, trades with an NPC, comes back down, One, sets off two, a tactical nuke, and three. then goes, Oh, right, these villagers wanted me to fight a bear for him, and the village is on fire. <laughs> how great would it be if I got another... Okay, nope. <laughs> I was like, how funny it'd be if I got a McStabbin thing <laughs> for anything. <laughs> and, um... Let's see... That was a lot of victory points you just got. Yeah. <laughs> well, there was... I, yeah, so anyway... It is what it is. Like, there's... I had thoughts and, uh... About other have... stuff. But, uh... Let's see. I'm trying to make sure... There's nothing else I can do here. Um... As... <laughs> as it keeps telling me, Hey, anime still isn't connected to you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um... <laughs> Right, yep, and I think with that, I will end my turn. Yoink. All right. Look here. Look for there. Look for there. You got this, Knight. This is the comeback. <laughs> All right. Um, first off, I mean, he can build a lot quicker <laughs> than I can. That's for sure. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, first off, we're going to craft a sword. You know what I just did? If anyone has ever played Fallout 3, I just did the 10 penny tower quest. <laughs> <laughs> I have never uh, let's seen see. Vagabond with so many exhausted items. Holy shit. Yo, jeez. <laughs> The only items and, and only, combat. And, and only one teapot. <laughs> right. I don't have any teapot. <laughs> well, I mean, it's exhausted right now, but only one. I want to look it up. I, I'm curious now because this, <laughs> I probably. Okay. Um, craft anything else. What are you curious about? Exhausted teapots. Let me just make sure. So Let's I have here. been trying to be nice, but I'm pretty sure when the teapot's exhausted, it actually goes in the satchel too. Okay, well, well you then. You do have the tenth slot. I don't okay. know if that's true or not, though. But you, I mean, but it, it's not like it would make you discard anything right now, anyway. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. I so if I have more than one recruiter in one spot. That would just you would still get creates two. two whatever you, yep. I think. Like if I have to put it back in there. Oh, it's fine. I'm not worried about it. There. Yeah, let's see. I You can freely move face up undamaged uh teapots, coins and bags between your satchel and their track. However, if you exhaust or damage a teapot, coin or uh bag, it has to be placed into your satchel oh, until okay. it is repaired and unexhausted. Oh. Like That's I had so the space many. for think... it. One, two. Yeah, I got. Oh, I'm I maxed have, out. <laughs> yeah, that, that that was maxing you out. But that's the thing is, like when you I've played I've played them in the uh, computer game version before, and like oh I'm gonna do this thing and it exhausts a bag and I did wasn't thinking about it like in the situation where you're currently at and I'm like oh I oh I exhausted a bag and when I do it immediately moves the bag over here and then goes oh you're three items over now you have to discard three items at the end of your turn and I'm like oh shit no. <laughs> That's one. Two is going to be a fruit. And then three is going to be doing some movement. <laughs> We're going to go here. Mm -hmm. And here, I think.
think that's what we're going to do. I think that makes the most sense. Let's see. The villain I want to hurt is on the other side of the <laughs> I'm just It's like I walked up to my friends and I'm like, hey, you wanna see something cool? And then casted like nuke. <laughs> and then I was like, which was Hey, you guys wanna see something cool? Yeah we do. I'm a fire in my <laughs> And then the Thanos snap. <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> Not Mr. Salty. I learned this from a Take wizard. Us. What? Take us through the end here. Take us to the end, Salty. Oh, are you done? Yep. Okay. Um. Let's see. Yep. Okay, so if I... Yeah, no, I can't do that. Um, hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Man, I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm just. I just keep laughing at anime's meeples because they keep looking to the west, <laughs> like away from where <laughs> they want to go. Whoa. We're giving you, you the zoom, illusion. If you zoom all the way in, there's a, like yep. a, a foliage under the board or something. You, well, you see the background. If you zoom out, you can see <laughs> that we're sitting in the middle of a forest. Oh, right. I just Ooh. wasn't expecting to all of a sudden see plants. I see the root of the table. <laughs> Um, I don't think I can win this turn. I mean, you yeah, only I'm need gonna... to do three uh, supporters. Huh? <laughs> you only need three sympathies. Yeah, I know, but my problem is that all the bunnies got destroyed out of my sympathy, or out yeah. of my supporters. Oh, right. I still have a lot of fox supporters, but I can't, I can't create sympathy in the same tile as the keep, and the other fox tiles over here, I'd have to go through here to get to it, and I have nothing adjacent to that. So, it's just it. Like, oh, your sympathy has to spread from adjacent. From where that, yeah. It's like the fungus thing from um, that Untold Legends game. So I don't think that I can. Yeah, I, I don't. There's no way for me to to win this this turn. If yeah. you had uh, if you had caused outrage on your turn, maybe. But um, all right. So I can discard a bunny and a bird. The two things that the two things that he gave me when he blew up my two sympathies, <laughs> um, to put a sympathy here, and that will give me two victory points, and then I can. Uh, mobilize this. Mobilize this. Wait. Yeah, and then uh... I hate it. I hate doing this. <laughs> I'm gonna, definitely going to train that into an officer. And I really don't want to lose this card, but I do need another officer. Yeah, I'm gonna train this ambush into an officer. Oh. And then, end of turn, I'm gonna use two of my actions to get more warriors. And then. I am the warrior! Immediately move one of them over here. And. Your uh, fungal spread. Organize him to put another one there, which gives me another two victory points. Oh, so close. Yeah. And that's all I can do. And then I draw two cards. Oh, wow. 
What a draw. What is this for? Uh, for the mob, because you're just going to take my card anyways. <laughs> that is a good point. <laughs> yeah, right. there's nothing you can do about it. Uh... So with the organize to make a uh, action, does that not does it have to be in, a, in an enemy controlled spot? No, but I have to remove a warrior to do it, and it has to be in a clearing that doesn't have a sympathy already. Ah, I see. And I didn't quite have an... And I can only take one action per officer. I had four actions. I recruited twice, moved once, and organized. If I had two more officers, I could have moved him over here and organized again in one. But I, I don't have enough officers for that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, I, I got... I don't have any mouses adjacent, though. Uh, oh, shit. Well, if you don't have any mouses adjacent, then I don't think you can spread. Yeah, that's fine. Where are your... you? This one... Oh, because you're only two are in mouses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yep. so, uh, just so you guys know, these uh, token markers, they're over top of... Oh, I guess this board doesn't have them. It just has these slots. But the basic board has, like, Notches. printed on token markers that are little... That are tiny, and they just have a little picture of a bunny or whatever. Okay. Um, th those are the default locations. But, like... It's pretty common once you've played the game enough times to just be like randomize it every time because it's we know where the things are and it's too easy to make strategies based on it, so it's better to randomize them. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, the rats! <laughs> yeah, they really can't do much, but there are many numbers, that is for sure. Uh, okay. It's very possible that D Pain wins on his next turn in that game. Yeah. Well, I will say that it's it's possible for you guys to ruin me to the point that I can't win on my next turn, but it's extremely unlikely. This is a hard choice. Uh... Oh. Uh... Um, crafting can't craft. Um... You know, some of these cards are really weird right. to look at. Because <laughs> I'm just, I keep getting like, what symbol is that? Yep. I gotta zoom all the way in. <laughs> you can draw a card. I don't have any card. Um, and. Uh, yeah, I guess we're combat there. Ambush! Okay. Oh, trying to get my two tokens off. There we go. While that battle's going on, I sense something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and oh, you win, so... Get fucked. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I was just trying to eliminate you. That's all I could really do there. Because the yeah, other if options you are... Just, if you had destroyed my other base, it would have really hurt me. Not only yeah. would it have halved my officers again and made me discard all my fox and, and bird supporters, but uh, if I don't have any bases on the board, I can't have more than five supporters at once. Yeah. So I was gonna try, <laughs> um, but I didn't get it. Uh, so no, even if I hadn't have ambushed, you wouldn't have hit me. You would have just had one dude left over there. Yep. No, I got lucky. I discarded an ambush for a train for a military training, and then when I drew at the end of the turn, I drew another ambush. So this is enough. Yep. Do that or. Or I could do... Uh, rivers aren't roads. Yeah. I realize that. Uh... They are in Civ 7. <laughs> <laughs> now, how many uh, finesse do you have? You, uh, prowess, you have two? I have two. I could still get there. It's not going to win you the game, but you could just march this whole army over here and attack, and then on your second turn, just stay there and attack again. True. Not that you should, but... 
you know, I, I do like seeing the cat keep destroyed, even when I'm their friend. It's fun. <laughs> I mean, it gets me the most. It would get you three victory points, yeah. Mm. Might as well. <laughs> oh my <Yeah>. god. <laughs> <laughs> then this guy right here, he's just like, what? Now, here's the this thing. One. I would, yeah, actually, I don't even need this. It's possible a good idea, but you want to leave at least two there so you still own the, the clear. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. I was just making sure I had the count right. Okay. And eventual, so you already take one. Oh, damn. Or Wrathful. Was it Wrathful eventual? Wrathful. I really wish I had... Anything? The right kind of card. Yeah, anything. <laughs> so you take a total of four, and I take two. How does he take? Oh, right. Yep. Well, four is well, all. I guess that clears the. Second action. Yeah. I guess that clears everything off that that spot then, right? No, you could have been worse. You could have been on a bunny space too. Yeah, I was gonna say. But... Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I did. Uh... Come out on top on that bunny spot, uh, Gambit. Um, honestly, it's it kind of sucks for you that you got a bag as early as you did because the bag mood is my favorite one. The relentless. Yeah. It's anytime he takes his warlord action to move and attack, he can also do a second move or attack as part of the same thing. Yeah, I, I wanted to get rid of the bag, but I also didn't. Right. So like, if you like... have like, if you manage to have four prowess and no bags, then you're like, oh, it's time. Move the warlord and attack, and move again, and then move and attack, yeah. and attack again, and then move and attack, and move again. <laughs> like, if I were to go back, I would have managed my cards better, and I would have looted more. Yeah, that's that's probably where I would have went instead of Early being too aggressive. Had been looting off of my uh, outrage yeah. markers. Yeah. Yeah, that's what, like, the, I was trying to, but at the same time, I, I was like, everywhere your rage markers were, were also, like, three cats, and I'm like, well, I can't do anything. Because <laughs> I want, I don't want to just, <laughs> just, like, go in there, cause outrage, and then not do anything about the outrage, and just have it sit there while he's recruiting more cats. Um, so, So the yes. funny thing about playing this on the digital game is that you, since everything, since all the rules are managed for you because it's a computer game, you don't have to learn how anybody plays except the people you're playing. Um, so if you, so I've taught somebody using that before, and it's been like they've been they played played cats once or twice, and then they like were like, oh, I'm gonna swap over to the uh, Woodland Alliance now. I have no idea what I'm doing because I wasn't actually paying attention to their turns when I was playing before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that's everything that I can do, so that's my turn. All right. Let's see. I want... I can refresh three items, so one, two, three. Go pain. All right. First things first. Oh, don't worry, that ain't staying there long. Uh, this, is where, this, is, this is where pain clears the entire board except for his character so first you know what i see okay. that there's been damage done to this bunny town and so this i'm gonna do some investments oh Aww. boom nice. boom build up this town give me three points and some coin one three nice I finally got that coin <laughs> yay you finally got money and for my final action, I'm going to give a speech. Uh, yeah. Using this and then using my special ability. I feel like a Yu-Gi-Oh player. Improvise once per turn. I can damage <laughs> one of my unexhausted items to treat as any other item to complete a quest. And so I look at this bunny town. I was like, we have been hurt too much. Half the world has blown up for no reason. And for, no reason. for <laughs> some reason, I shall make this my home. Getting 31 <laughs> points. <laughs> and D-Pain wins. Nice. Uh, D-Pain well wins. Nice.